Okay guys, uh, this is a quick video on how to set up a, a Camtara, Camtara, my bad, uh, desktop VPS. For those of you guys who want to know how to get it done. So after like clicking the link in this video description, or if you found it on any other, you know, my past videos, you just hit sign up. You hit sign up here, free sign up here at the top right, or you can go ahead and hit that one. But because I have an account already, I'll just log in. Now, after creating your account, what you want to do, it's quite simple actually. You head to cloud, and then you hit create new desktop. Wait for it to load up. You select uh, where you want this uh vps to be held so if it's new york you select new york if it's united uh if it's texas you select texas for those of you guys like for if you're in the u.s you might want to if you're hosting a server in the u.s you might want to like choose a more central location so like you uh texas or chicago if either is not available so these are like your top three top three uh choices so texas Chicago and New York. Most likely, New York will always be available. So, if you want to, for a more central location, you pick between either Chicago or Texas. So, we'll go with Texas and then you want to select Windows for the OS and you want to select probably the latest one, which is Windows 10. And you want to select availability. You could go dedicated, uh, you just select availability for like, you know what's there so you can always get something that's available for the cores i think i normally went like eight but let's see um and then you want to select the ram by like 12 to 16. the point what what we're doing here is we want to keep it under like a hundred dollars the price should be on a hundred dollars so that that's how you're eligible for the first 30 days free if it's a, under a hundred dollars then it's fine and I'm going to select like 150 GB because you don't really need more than that, to be honest. You can go 12 gigs of RAM. Yeah, eight cores availability. And that's it. And you fill out the, you know, the other information that is needed, the password. The password for the VPS. So this is what you use to sign into on the VPS using remote desktop. The name. You can name it whatever. And that's about it. It's as simple as that. Once you make sure it's on billing, like monthly, to be billed monthly, and you're good. It's quite as simple as that. It's not a hard thing. It's not a hard process. Very simple. And I prefer, I, I, I recommend this uh, more than to use, like, what's it called? Zap hosting and what's the other one? Some dumbass shit. Reason being, it's you have more control over your server when you do it like this instead of like you just transferring files, which takes up time. And it's trust me, it's useless. It's a waste of your time. It's a waste of all your effort. Your risk, that's you don't want to do all that. Get a virtual PC. Get a virtual desktop. Set it up. Use it. It's quite. It's simple as that, and you're done. You can. Can you have more control over your server? You have more control. You have more control over like when you're editing scripts, customizing scripts, so on and so forth. And that's about it.